Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everybody How are you guys doing today? Alhamdulillah, that's wonderful news I'm doing great myself, alhamdulillah And I'm so happy to know that you guys are watching this video So excited that I will be able to share another story with you But before we begin our story We want to get, um, shake our wiggles away so what we'll do is we'll play a little bit and then take a deep breath to relax and then start our book. Does that sound like a good plan? Perfect. Now, for our song today, I want you to show me your hands and copy me. Ready? Okay, it goes like this. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap 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 creep them crawl them creep them crawl them up until your chin 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 open wide your little mouth but do not put them in 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 Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them just like this, this, this. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Now blow me a kiss. Mwah. Did you guys enjoy this one? I did a lot. Now let's take a deep breath so we can relax our bodies and get ready to start the story, okay? Let's do this. We're going to raise our arms, take a deep breath and hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you let all of the air out. Yes, it's very important to let all the air out. Alhamdulillah, I feel the relaxation in my shoulder and in my back. And I am ready to read you guys today's book. So wait, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Today's book is called A Pocket for Corduroy by Don Freeman. When we begin something we say, Bismillah. A Pocket for Corduroy. Story and Pictures by Don Freeman. Which means that Don is, MashaAllah, great job. He's both the author and the illustrator. Let's begin. Late one summer uh, afternoon, late one summer afternoon, Lisa and her mother took their laundry to the laundromat. As always on such trips, Lisa carried along her toy bear, Corduroy. The laundromat was a very busy place at this hour. Now, Corduroy, you sit right here and wait for me, Lisa said. I'm going to help with our wash, okay? Corduroy waited patiently, then he suddenly perked up his ears. Lisa's mother was saying, be sure to take everything out of your pockets, Lisa dear. You don't want your precious things to get all wet and soapy. Pockets? said Corduroy to himself. I don't have a pocket. He slid off the chair. I must go find something to make a pocket out of, he said, and he began to look around. First, he came to a pile of fancy towels and washcloths but nothing was the right size or color. Then he saw a huge stack of colorful clothes in a laundry bag. There ought to be something in there to make a pocket out of, he said. Without hesitating, he climbed inside the bag, which was filled with pieces of wet laundry. The dampness didn't bother Cordura in the least. This must be a cave, he said happily. I've always wanted to live in a dark, cool cave. When the time came for Lisa to fetch her bear, he was gone. Oh, Mommy, Corduroy isn't here where I left him. I'm sorry, honey, said her mother, but the laundromat will be closing soon and we must be getting home. Lisa was reluctant to leave without Corduroy, but her mother insisted. You can come back tomorrow, she said. I'm sure he will be here, the, uh, here then. As they left, a young man wearing an artist's beret was taking his wet laundry out of a bag, the very bag Corduroy had discovered. 
Before he knew it, corduroy was being tossed together with all the sheets, shirts, shorts, and slacks into the dryer. But just as the artist was shutting the glass door, corduroy tumbled out onto the floor. How did that bear ever get mixed up with my things? The artist wondered. Poor corduroy was wet all over. Well, the least I can do for him is give his overalls a good drying, said the man thoughtfully. He unbuttoned corduroy's overalls, shorter st uh, shoulder straps, and put the overalls in the dryer. Corduroy grew dizzy as he watched the clothes spinning and spinning around, but the artist became inspired. This would make a wonderful painting, he said as he took a sketch pad out of his pocket and began drawing the swirling colors. I can hardly wait to get back to my studio. Finally, the dryer stopped whirling and the man gathered up the clothes. Then he helped Corduroy put on his warm, dry overalls. All at once, the manager of the laundromat called, Closing time! Everybody out! Corduroy was gently placed on top of a washing machine. I wonder what will happen to me. Well, I wonder who that bear belongs to, said the artist as he was leaving. Seems to me he should have his name someplace. He's too fine a fellow to be lost. As soon as the lights were turned off, Corduroy began his search again. He was surprised to see something that's white. Uh, maybe it's snow. I've always wanted to play in the snow. He accidentally tipped the open lid of box and suddenly he was covered with soft, slippery soap flakes. Gradually, Corduroy began to slip and slide. Oh, what fun! Have I always wanted to ski down a steep mountainside? He landed paws first in an empty laundry basket. Well, this must be a cage. I've never wanted to live inside a cage like a bear in the zoo. But by now, Corduroy felt drowsy and soon he nodded off to sleep. Hmm. The next morning, the manager came to open the door of the laundromat. There was Lisa waiting. I left something here yesterday, she explained. May I look around? Certainly, my customers are always leaving things behind. Lisa was searching under the chairs and in the back of the washing machines when she heard the manager call her. Is, uh, is this what you're looking for, senorita? Yes, yes, he's my best friend, shouted Lisa as she came running. She reached in and picked Corduroy out of the basket. So this is where you've been, you little boy. It's time I took you home, she said. Lisa thanked the manager and ran out of the door and down the street, holding Corduroy tightly in her arms. I thought I told you to wait for me. Why did you wander away? I went looking for a pocket. Oh, Corduroy, why didn't you tell me you wanted a pocket? Asked Lisa, giving him an affectionate squeeze. That very morning, Lisa sewed a pocket on Corduroy's overalls. And here is a card I've made with your name on it for you to keep tucked inside. I've always wanted a purple pocket with my name tucked inside, said Corduroy as he and Lisa nuzzled noses. The end. Ah, oh, look at him covered in soap flakes. I really enjoyed reading Corduroy's story to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I will see you inshallah in another video. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.